What's up everybody, it's Kayvon with Functional Fitness VA and today we're working the hip thrust a little bit here. So we're hitting those glutes, right? The body weight hip thrust is the simplest and easiest one to start with. Shoulder blades across a bench, feet out in front of you a little bit so that your shins are more or less vertical, especially as you bridge up to the top of this. When you come down to the bottom, your shins may come back a little bit, that's fine, but you don't want them coming back too far. So watch how far those feet walk out or how close they are so your shins aren't going forward to back hard. Anyway, long spine throughout this, especially at the top as I bridge. Again, weights on my shoulder blades into the bench. Head is off the bench. I like to do it with a tucked chin or slightly flexed neck. If that bothers your neck, you could try it with your head down. Just watch out how much you extend through your spine, or you can support your head with your hands. You're not cranking on it, but you're supporting it so your neck doesn't have to work as hard to keep your head up. Either way, Come down with your hips. Don't let them come back towards you too much. Then push down through your heels. Bridge up at the top. Squeeze those glutes as you're bracing your abs just a little bit to keep your spine long. So that's the regular old body weight hip thrust. Working through the hips, working through the glutes. Now, we can add a band to it to add a little frontal plane work, the banded hip thrust. I use a slingshot here, hip circle. You can use any sort of band. You want it around your knees, either slightly below, slightly above your knees. You don't want it way down near your ankles like you would for like a standing band two-step because that's not really going to put the tension on the glute med here like you want or gluteus medius, right? Same position, more or less, shoulders on the bench, feet down to the ground, feet about hip width apart, more or less. Keep constant tension against the band, not trying to push your knees outside of your feet, but keeping constant tension with the band, right? Not letting them collapse in. You can see here from this different angle, but constant like isometric in that frontal plane as you extend and bridge up and down. Simple. Now, you can add a little something to it as you're doing your bridge, as you pressed out against it, you finish your last rep, or you can treat this as its own thing. But you get to the top here, hold an extended position, and now I'm going to move in and out just slightly with my knees. So I'm really working those, again, gluteus medius, or outside of the glutes, frontal plane work, and you can really burn them with that one. Another variation is a single leg hip thrust, so you don't have all the toys. This will add slight bit of frontal plane work, but really just more work on the single leg. Long spine, same less position. I tuck my knee up towards my chest because that's going to help me keep my back long and not work too hard through my low back. Now, last but not least, the Mac Daddy, the big dog, the barbell hip thrust. For this one, if you have bigger plates, great, because it's not such a weird position to get it up, but regular plates, you can make it work. The bar pad I have here, which is nice, but not necessary, but is nice. If it has Velcro on it, you want that Velcro towards the ceiling, because if the Velcro is down towards your waist, the bar is just going to be pressing through it. it. You might as well not have one. Either way, I kind of wiggle up the bench, bring the barbell off the ground a little bit, and then wiggle my feet in position. Again, if you have a lower bench or bigger plates, it helps out a little bit in this. But same deal, long spine, I come down, not so much that my shins come towards me too much, push through my heels, bridge my hips up by squeezing my glutes, keep my abs braced. Slightly different position here so you can see my shins and whatnot. Hinge down, bridge up. Work through the glutes, keep your heels pressing through the floor the whole time, long spine, abs braced, and the heavier the weight, the more ab brace you need so your low back isn't doing the work that you want your glutes to do. So, there's a couple different versions of the hip thrust, body weight, single leg, banded for some frontal plane, barbell for more power. Give it a shot.